if you look at the last 14 years, you usually get a quadruple after a halving. So Bitcoin right now is trading 57,000. I'm not sure where it'll be on or about April 20th when the halving actually takes place. But let's say it's at 50,000. That would imply over 18 months from the halving a $200,000 Bitcoin price. So uh, the price is going up primarily because there's not a lot of supply out there. And yet you're seeing these uh, Bitcoin ETFs coming into the marketplace with 12 to 14 times what's available in terms of what the network is producing every single day. And so that's why you're seeing this price squeeze. And of course, you do have people that don't believe in Bitcoin that are short Bitcoin. And so they're getting wrecked right now. And I think that's the combination of why you're seeing such great price appreciation. Yeah, I mean, money isn't always backed by a government. It's used by society to account for, for what you do so you can exchange it for what someone else does. It's that simple. And, and you can see well, the properties of it. And it, you know, it's so elegant. It makes so much sense that I just wish they would do the homework. Just like you, that's, that's your answer now. They need to do the homework. You don't even argue. Just do the homework. But gold is a $16 trillion asset. And Bitcoin has a lot of the same properties as gold. And I would make a case that it's better than gold because it's easier to move around. Uh, it should trade to at least half of that. Uh, it's at a trillion dollars right now. And so that would be an 8x. Uh, and again, that's from now until 2030. So just go back to 1971 when we pulled ourselves off the gold standard. Uh, the U.S. dollars lost 98 percent of its purchasing power in 52 years. And so Satoshi Nakamoto in the white paper basically said, look, maybe they're drunk driving with the money, and maybe we can create a decentralized system uh, where the assets are harder. And, you know, this decentralized, fully transparent uh, currency uh, is definitely going to rise in value. And again, maybe it won't be the currency standard for the world, but it certainly can replace gold or be alongside of gold as a store of value.